Okay, the, the next um, predator that I'm going to talk about are, are deer. And this is probably the harder of the three to control. Um, if you're in a suburban area where the houses are close together, you're probably wondering what the hell is he talking about? Deer never bother my garden. But if you're in, as most homeowners are, you have a little bit of woodland or a little bit of open field in your area, uh, the deer are going to be present. And at different times of the year, they will come into your garden. It's all about the density of the population. If you have a really uh, high density, they're desperate for food. And they're going to be bolder. They're going to come closer to your home. In our area during the winter, they will come right up to the foundation and, and eat the evergreens. Uh, and that's how dense the, the population is. Uh, there are a number of things you can do to fight back. Uh, one is to reduce the population by encouraging hunting. Uh, there are no natural predators anymore. We removed the wolf and the cougar. And so the population is only limited by food supply. Uh, it goes up as high as it can until they start to starve to death. Um, if you uh, can encourage hunters, fine. Uh, I, would, I would advise that because uh, it will keep the herd down and it may keep them away from your property if they're hunting close to you. The deer have a terrific memory. They know where the food is. They know where the predator is. Uh, they know where the dogs are. They know where the hunters are. And they will act accordingly to uh, what they've encountered. Um, there are some other things you can do. Um, having a free roaming dog or cat that's urinating in the yard uh, is extremely effective. That's what we do here. We have uh, three small dogs in the nursery. And the deer, even though there's a substantial herd near us, they never come into the nursery. We've never had them come in and eat pasta. Uh, they smell the urine. They view it as a, a predator. Uh, their instincts tell them that if it's cat or, or uh, canine urine, it's, it's a wolf or it's a cougar. And, and they will just go someplace else where they don't get that smell. Uh, if you have uh, urine-soaked kitty litter, you can get the same effect. This will also help control the voles. Uh, just sprinkling, sprinkling the, the uh, used kitty litter uh, around your hosta beds, um, the predator will, or, or the predator of the hosta, will view it as a, uh, a predator, and they will go eat someplace else. If these things don't work, uh, you have one last resort, and that is deer fencing, which you can. Uh, you find it online if you if you Google it. Um, it's eight or nine feet tall. It's made out of plastic. Uh, it's very effective. But that's my best best advice on these um, issues. If anybody has uh, other ideas that they think are cost effective, um, please let us know. You can contact to through Facebook or through email on the website, and we'd like to hear from you. So uh, thank you and happy gardening.